Welcome to Lecture Online, and in this example we're going to see that x could be an infinite number of possibilities. In this case, a random variable x is the number of times a coin is tossed before heads will appear. Now, or I should say one head, right, because we're just looking for one head, so before a head appears. All right, we could throw it one time or toss it one time, and the first time we get a head, and so therefore value will be 1, and the probability of that happening is 1 out of 2, because it could be heads or tails. We could also have the probability that uh, the first time we do it, we get tails, and the second time we get a head. So in this case, we have to toss the coin twice, so therefore x will now be 2, and the probability of that happening would be a quarter, one-fourth of that happening. Or we could have two tails first before we get a head. That means it required three tosses, and x will therefore be 3. The probability of that happening is one eight, And so forth. You can see that we get to this point where you toss five tails before you toss a head. Six tries, six tosses, x equals six, one out of 64. But in actuality, we could do this almost an infinite number of times, or an infinite number of times. For some reason, we keep tossing the coin, it keeps turning out heads, or I should say tails and tails and tails. We do 100 times, 100 tails. You can see where x actually can become an infinite number, and therefore the sample space of the number of, of uh, sample points will be an infinite sample space, because Mathematical probability tells you that even though the probability is very, very tiny, it could be that you do it a million times, a billion times, and each time it comes out tails before it comes out heads. So in this case, x can be an infinite number, and therefore the sample space is infinite, and a good example where it's not bounded. And so we'll see some examples of some other types of what we call uh, random variables. But this is a really interesting example.